All right, today we're going to be talking about grounding in a sub panel. Uh, so for today we're going to be using our cube for, that we use for the cube test for any kind of electrical demonstrations or testing. And we're going to be using our panel that's already pre-installed in it. Now this panel typically operates as a main panel, which means that the grounding conductors and the grounded conductors, grounded being your neutrals and grounding conductors being your ground wires, are typically bonded. So here you have the neutral bar with the bonding screw here and another neutral bar. This is all attached with this strap across here and the ground as well as a neutral would come into here. The neutral is tied in directly. We have this kind of in a unique setup but the neutral is tied in directly over here. Typically the neutral would be there with the ground set in separately. Uh, for today's demonstration though, we're gonna be doing a sub panel. And the difference between a main panel and a sub panel is you're not gonna bond them, which means you're grounded being your neutrals and your ground conductors being your bare, green, bare or green wires need to be separated separated with no connection. The quickest way to, the quickest giveaway that it's bonded when it shouldn't be bonded is your green bonding screw right here. So first thing we're gonna do because we're turning this into a sub panel and not a main panel is we're gonna remove the bonding screw. So once the bonding screw is removed and we're just gonna discard that over here, we now can, go on to proceed to set a separate ground bar. A ground bar looks just like the existing neutral bar slash ground bar, whatever you want to call it there, that's existing in this panel. And we're going to put it onto the body, the can, as you will, of the panel at some location. I'm going to be using this location right down here. You can buy panel specific brand ground bars um, that will kind of pre-fit studs that are already built in and holes. We don't have any here. It doesn't matter. Uh, these are not discriminatory towards any kind of ground bar, it'll all operate the same. Uh, some have two holes on the back, some have one. This one just has one, so we're gonna only be installing one screw to hold this into place today. When I install this onto this can, because I've removed the bonding screw, being this green screw, even though that this is all metal, this plastic isolation here from this will not connect this bar or this bar or this strap up here to anywhere on the can because it's held off with the plastic and the plastic's non-conductive. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and you can get a level, some guys get real particular on these. Um, they have these studs here that hold panel specific ground bars in place already. I'm gonna use those for my leveling devices. So if I go quite tight up against them, and like I said, I only have one screw spot on the back of this. Sometimes there'll be one here and here, or here and here. For this one, it's just one. So I'm gonna put it here. And that should be pretty much pre-leveled because I'm up tight against both those studs. And I'm going to bring this over here. This is a self-tapping device. Uh, you can get drill bits and drill a hole. And they have hand tappers. Uh, I like these ones that go directly into the, dr to the drill. They will uh, make their own hole right here. And then with these threads, they'll create a thread. that This is at 832. These are very specific to the size of screw you're going to use and the thread count you're going to use. So for here, because it fits through this hole, I can get a good little star to it. And I'll, that'll just mark it kind of. So you can see here that I can kind of see right where that's gonna go through. From there, I can remove that ground bar, throw all the way through. And once it's through, it'll thread itself to where that now that this hole in this metal can has pre-made threads that will accept an 832 screw and here, I don't know if you'll be able to see, you can see this tap right here is designed for an 832. It's probably really difficult to see. Uh, these kits typically come with multiple being 632, 832, 1032, and a 1024. Or this is actually a quarter 20 here. Some will have a 1024. You can buy all different kinds of sizes. But today, we're, I like to use an 832 for a ground bar. So from there on, We'll take our 832 screw, and this is a machine thread screw. Uh, don't use self-tappers. They have a tendency to become loose. The threads are a little too coarse to get a good grab. It might grab initially, but it's really easy to strip it out. It'll work itself loose. So for, by all means necessary, please use a machine thread screw. That's the proper way to do this, and that's how we're gonna do it today. And from here, this screw will fit, and you want one that's long enough to make it all the way through the ground bar so that it'll catch the back. If you get too short, you won't have enough threads to really grab this. 
And from here, I'm gonna take my Phillips head screwdriver, because it's a Phillips head screw. You can use a flat too. And it should, because it's threaded from that self tapper, this will just thread in tightly. And you wanna make sure you get it good and tight all the way to the back, uh, keeping it loose is it'll i mean it'll just work itself loose if it if it works its way all the way out it has a probability of wiggling around moving shorting out to the hot phase bars the panel's currently off it's not a good practice to touch that uh it won't make contact with this and bond it won't make contact with anything hot and arc and short out but anyway so the screw's tight now as you can see here that's not moving the whole the whole panel's moving because we're on wheels here but this physically is not moving within the panel and from here, because I've removed the bonding screw, your neutral bars and your ground bar are totally separate. They're not connected in any type of way because of this plastic separation here that's isolating it. Same thing is why these hots don't touch with anything because the plastic's separating everything. So from here, we'll take our grounding conductors, being the bare ground or green on most commercial settings, some residential. Uh, and from there, we will land these wires directly into the ground bar. So you can, I like to tuck mine to the back right. Uh, they're kind of exploded out from multiple different runs on different kinds of training scenarios here. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen my screw. I don't need to use one of these bigger slots. It's good practice to try to save those for any kind of bigger wires you have, 40 amp wire or 60 amp wire, whatever you run. You don't need all this excess. So I'll try to get a nice little bend and cut it to where it's gonna barely pop through the other side. And go ahead and cut that excess off and work it. And this sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain. You kind of have to get the wire in there and on these tight corners and reposition it how you want, rebend it. And that's probably a little bit longer than I typically do, but there's, there's nothing wrong with it. And if you really want to be particular, go ahead and tighten this screw. Make sure it's good and mechanically sound and not going to move. And if you're real particular like I am, and you have that excess and it's going to bother you, you can go back and trim it up just a little bit shorter. Don't leave any of these shavings down here. They've been left in the past. Uh, but try to keep your panel clean, organized. Your electrician will be really thankful for it. And it's just it's a little bit more professional way of doing it. Um, the outside of that, that's how you've separated now these White bar, these white conductors, the grounded conductors, your neutrals, are in no way bonded to this ground bar or this ground. And you'll proceed to do that with repeating the steps. You'll bring this ground down, you bring it up to this bar. You would need to extend this most likely with a wire nut and bring it over to the ground bar as well as extending this down to the ground bar. And all your grounds will get landed on this. All your white conductors uh, will get landed on this. That shouldn't be there. Uh, so ignore that black wire. All right, thank you so much.